welcome to Debug Dialogue. Let's get into it. Hey. Hey, guys. The welcome ball- to Sweden. Welcome to Sweden. The Bald and Bearded are together. Finally. Yeah. Finally. This is a very rare occasion, actually, right? It we're, is. We're probably going to meet like two, three times a year. Kind Maybe. Of thing. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. In person. Uh, I don't but, even know the distance. It's it's quite far to Vermont. It is. It is. <laughs> but I'm in Malmö, yep. Sweden, yep. at Patrick's place. Yep, my backyard. Yeah. And uh, hey, we said, why not? Why not do a video? Yeah. So let's do this. When in Malmö? <laughs> when in Malmö? <laughs> <laughs> All the right. thing is, what ha- happens here doesn't stay here though, because we put it on YouTube. <laughs> right. <laughs> we put it on YouTube. <laughs> All right. So uh, what we got to talk about today? I was thinking maybe a bit about the the announcement by Microsoft this m- last uh, week about Copilot Chat, the, mm-hmm. the free one, the the one included uh, in your enterprise license being added to uh, the enterprise apps. Okay. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and uh, an Outlook that actually allows you to reason about a document you have open in Word, for instance, uh, and interact with it with web grounded data okay so not the paid one where you can interact with your own internal documents and stuff but you can actually reason about any internal document you have open okay i think that's kind of cool so this is a big change from the paid one that we used to have yes yes before right because yeah. I, I remember it was integrated yeah with powerpoint and things like that but yep. now it's free yep so the new one that's free well it's it's the same old copilot chat that right. you always had in in the the edge sidebar or the the microsoft 365 mm-hmm. copilot chat app but now you can actually uh reason about your own documents without uploading them or copy pasting and eliminating all of those middle steps right. to be able to interact with the data right. which is kind of cool that is cool so it's it's a great way to get started with uh, with the copilot mm-hmm. now that has gpt5 as well so it's getting up to par up to with uh, <laughs> open AI solutions and other yeah. solutions out there, which which is good. It chooses its own model mm-hmm. when you reason with it. So you get access to through the chat and some agent stuff and uh, directly within the apps right, without right. having to copy. You can even reference other internal files okay. uh, within that interface, which is kind of okay. cool. So what about data security and stuff? Are people, do people need to be concerned about... Mm-hmm. No, it's yeah. all good. It's, it's all... still the enterprise grade security. Okay. So if you're signed into the app with mm-hmm. uh, with your enterprise account, so your Enter account, you you still have that safety layer on top where Microsoft promises that they will not okay. use your data to train the model and it won't slip outside, like the the Samsung incident a couple of years or a couple of months ago where yeah. they they actually banned uh, Chat GPT altogether because their IP got out some oh my some God. Uh, coder pasted code into chat gpt and it became public knowledge yeah. and that's uh, that's I a costly mistake something today uh there is a vulnerability with chat gpt um and gmail uh, there's some malware or something like that i don't have all the details oh, but wow. i saw it today but if you connect your Gmail and stuff, it gets access to your whole entire, mm. which is kind of dangerous. So be careful that's about that. Good. No, that's not it's good. not good. No, that's a good thing about the co-pilot. Yeah. Uh, um, and then you, so speaking of all these AI stuff, um, I am super impressed with Nano Banana mm-hmm. from Gemini. Yeah. Oh my freaking God. Yeah. That thing is phenomenal. Yeah. Like, that you know, you use cool. the other ones like ChatGPT or Grok or something like that. Uh, it misses things. Like It uh, does. They do te- seem to hallucinate a lot. <laughs> yeah. But Nano Banana is, is all pretty much like Photoshop. Oh, wow. It's that, you know, we can take a picture of this, right? And, and you know, um, you, you put it in and say, hey, remove the barbecue. And boom, the thing is gone. Hey, leave my barbecue alone. Leave your barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or, or hey, you know, add more flowers in the back oh, or nice. something like that. Or hey, you know, change uh, Patrick's shirt over there into something else. It's phenomenal. I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show cool. you. And uh, so then uh, you were just at a conference. In I was, Stockholm. yeah, this uh, Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Nordic's biggest event on Teams and Viva and all Microsoft 365 right. goodness, yeah. That, you wanted to talk about Teams. Yeah. We had uh, a talk about the accessibility features mm, uh, in Teams. That's and, an important one. Yeah, the important things about inclusion and right. uh, accessibility and some of the hidden gems that are in the platform that people can use on a day-to-day basis. And also, 
with the addition of the Teams Premium mm. uh, licensing, getting live translations in oh, your yes. language, which is good because language can also put you outside if you move to a different country. Yes. It is a more multinational landscape we do yeah. work in. So yeah, and also naturally mentioning the Copilot for 365, where you right. tend to drift into the productivity parts of it mm -hmm. because that's what it's marketed for. Yeah, but it's actually pretty good also from an accessibility standpoint. So if you're in a meeting and you have difficulties concentrating or maybe uh, hard of hearing uh, or yeah. even uh, sight vision problems, you can actually interact directly with Copilot, asking questions, keeping up to date, right, and right. using it more of as an accessibility uh, feature, feature yeah. instead yeah, yeah, yeah. of just uh, it's super productivity. Important. It is. Oh my God. Accessibility is getting more and more yeah. important. And people always, um, you know, I have this uh, I notion that Oh, the accessible thing is for people that are, you know, disabled or something. It's not. No, no, no. It's for everybody. Oh, like, absolutely. Like, you know, I have like, you know, I like things to be in the in dark. Yeah. Why, you know, I'm more visual, yeah. stuff like that, right? It helps you with all of those capabilities, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, people tend to to only focus on the permanent disabilities. Yes. I mean, yes. I, I've got uh, hearing pr problems, yeah. for instance. I can't hear cor correctly or whatever. But there are actually there are permanent disabilities, yes. and there are temporary situational, situational, and, and yes. the temporary. So I mean, I could have been in an accident and lo <laughs> lost the, the use arm. of my arms, which means yeah. I could need to maybe speak to my computer mm -hmm. with uh, voice inputs. Or situational. I mean, a noisy yeah. cafe trying to keep up with a the meeting. Then yes. the live captions might be a really, really yes. good thing because I can't hear what they're saying. Anyway. Or you have parents with a baby. And, yeah, you know, yeah, whatever, absolutely. You know, so yeah. you might be on some medication that makes you a bit sluggish and <laughs> yes. you can't really keep up. So I mean, yeah. that's where copilot. Medication, huh? absolutely. Yeah. Not alcohol. No, yeah, that could be an issue as well. <laughs> but then maybe you shouldn't work. <laughs> so we have different ways of. Okay, uh, okay. Stuff. So yeah. that's what you guys call here in Sweden. Yeah, yep. Me medicine. That's, absolutely. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Got to stay medicated <laughs> um, all right all right so what else what's uh, up with you then? you're going to a conference tomorrow, so i've been right? here in uh, copenhagen and now here with you yep. and uh for a week and you know uh, i was with my company and we had a lot of meetings yep. and i met some customers and been doing a lot of videos and stuff like that and i'm headed to switzerland yep. uh for workplace ninja summit oh nice and um you know we have a booth and um uh, and all that fun stuff uh i'm also the community reporter oh so i'll be going around taking videos and you know interviewing people photos all that whatever the stuff that i do yeah you know um yeah oh so speaking of another thing uh, uh announcement from microsoft uh, which you brought up earlier uh so microsoft announced this week on monday um what day? What are we? Twentieth. Uh, uh, it was on the fifteenth, uh, September fifteenth. Then Microsoft is now uh, has partnered with Robopack oh. and Remo Three uh, to uh, help customers uh, migrate their applications from Config Manager and other third-party, you know, legacy solutions. That's really cool. To Intune, so they they can become cloud native, yeah. right? So there wasn't really an official way to do this before. Every you know. Every vendor, vendor out there is trying to like, hey, we can do yeah. this, we can do this. But Microsoft finally sat down. They went through months and months of, you know, uh, testing and, you know, private previews and mm -hmm. things like that to get feedback. And they landed with two, Robopack and Remote 3. Uh, so we're really happy. We're really proud of it. Um, it's simple because to, to create applications and you know, uh, in Intune, it's kind of tedious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? It's it's long. It's, and moving that from the old platform to So if you have like Intune, a thousand oh, applications yeah. and config manager or something, it's going to take you forever. It's a pain. So this is seamless, easy, automated. Nice. Will save you a lot of time. So that's the big announcement. And uh, yeah. And cool. there'll be something special going on at Workplace Ninja Summit too. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So it's cool. Um yeah, so that's that. And then we are going to Ignite in uh, November, November, which yeah. is coming up in a couple of months. Yep. Um, so that'll be a great show as well. And yeah. you and I will do, you know, a couple of these. And, Absolutely. And, and I'm going to a big ERP conference in in Sweden in uh, mid-October as well, mm -hmm. uh, talking about agents and AI and uh, agents, right, right. data security and stuff around that. Not just focusing on the ERP part, but the bigger picture, because right. you can't just focus on ERP when you introduce agents and AI right. in a business. So you need to talk about the, the data protection stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, so that's going to sure. be nice. 
and that's a car drive away which yeah. is also nice it's two and a half hours by car instead of having to fly yeah. anywhere so i get back at the same night which is nice that's nice yeah. that's nice yeah nice to be in your bed all right so anything that... else uh, maybe we should just mention the the uh, addition to the microsoft 365 admin center as well with the people settings ah uh, yes that's yes, also yes, a yes. pretty new thing that came out where you get the yes. option to to modify the people card add more fields right yes add more okay. fields to the people card so you can mm-hmm. customize that within your environment grabbing data from ai or from copilot connectors and right. displaying for instance the the cost center of a, a user or their roles within the the company and skills and stuff so make it a bit more useful within the environment okay. but it needs to be done by by the global admin or uh, by the global admin that uh, needs to turn those yeah, things on exactly. and choose the fields yeah. right and they're introducing a new rbac role as well which is called people manager i think people, okay okay people setting manager or something like that so, so you can delegate nice. that to somebody yeah. else all right that's good always uh, trying to keep it crisp and uh, relevant for mm-hmm. the users instead of just showing uh, that also naturally integrates with the organizational explorer yeah, yeah yeah so you get the right information when you try to look people up which is good yeah which, which is, is good. good yeah all right i cool. think we covered it yeah right a bit shorter so, but still my brain the bald and the bearded. the bearded yeah the bald and the beard yeah <laughs> kind, of, kind of easy to see which one is which right <laughs> I'm kind of bald too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You try to hide it. Though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, check us out again. Yeah, uh, subscribe, like, and subscribe. Like and always. subscribe, please. We could use your help. And yeah. uh, let us know what you want to hear. You know, yeah. we are always willing to share stuff. And make so, sure to connect so we can meet up in, in, yeah. uh, in San Francisco in November. Right. Find us on LinkedIn. Yep. All right. Until next time. Cheers. See ya. This is Debug Dialogues.